Hey, 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 all my lovelies, it's Lucy. So, who is the Antichrist? Christ meaning the anointed one, the chosen one. We are the body of Christ. We are but of many members of one body. Meaning, we have arms and legs and hundreds of body parts. Not to mention thousands of atoms that make up our body. Atom. There's man. Thousands of atoms that make up our body. So, many members of one body. The body of Christ. The chosen one. The anointed one. How are you chosen? Because many are called, but few are chosen. How do you become chosen? You have to choose to answer the call. That's how you're chosen. So, in the Greek, Christ means Christos. So, did you know that there's actually a part of our skull that is called the Christos? So what happens is there is a process that happens within our body 12 times a year when our body is in alignment. There is a substance, two substances that drain from the back of our skull between the two hemispheres of our brain down the narrow and straight path of our spine to the bottom of our spine where there is a virgin seed that these two substances, these two liquids that are referred to as milk and honey fertilizes seed. And it takes two and a half days. Then once the seed is fertilized, it goes back up the 33 vertebrates of your spine back to the Christnos of your head. And this is the process of the Christnos in the human body. This is knowledge that has been suppressed throughout all these years. So many times when we hear Christ, we have this image in our head or we have these feelings or these beliefs that we have been taught and if you go back to the ancient teachings, the ancient times, that was not necessarily the case. This was talking about a process that happens within our body, within every human body that is in line, in alignment. So that is truly the body of Christ. We are the body of Christ. We are but a vessel. Okay, so we, this skin, this body is what holds this beautiful, magnificent process where we can actually connect with the divine because of the process that our body is meant to go through. I'm going to look at my notes because I'm going to try to keep on subject because I'm really bad about getting off subject. So, this whole time, it's been talking about a process that happens within. You know, so many ancient teachers, it doesn't matter if it's Buddha or Krishna or Allah. That's the beauty of it. Truth doesn't change. And so, we have to pick out the truth within all of this. And the truth is the things that don't change you know um you don't have to believe truth because truth proves itself and truth never changes so that's what we should be seeking is the things that have never changed the the parts of the story that have never changed the characters might have switched up the plot might have switched up the setting might have switched up but the things that have never changed that's the truth. That's where we will find the truth. And if you don't believe me, go do your own research. And if you do believe me, please go do your own research anyways. Because we are all in need.
need of this knowledge. We are all in this in need of the freedom that it brings. So many of us, so many things that we have been taught throughout the year, throughout the years of our lives, like they mean a lot. They're very important. But at the same time, we have to step back and we have to answer this question of, have we been taught in the right spot? Meaning there is a lot of truth there. There is. But have we been taught the truth the way the, the, the story was truly told? It's kind of like that game where you start in a circle and you tell, you start with one story and you go all, the, what's it called, telephone or whatever? You go all the way around and by the end of the, per, the last person, the story has completely changed. It's kind of like that. We have, we, we're talking like thousands of years that this knowledge has been watered down. And so guys, we gotta get back. We gotta get back to the truth and back to what is real. Because that's the only way, that's the only reason, that's the only way we're going to be able to find our true selves. And it is by going within. But that's the beauty of it. Because you don't have to seek it nowhere else but within. It's already within you. There's nothing that anybody else can give you or do for you that you can't do for yourself. Yes, mentors and you know people can encourage you and help you but ultimately it's your choice how far you want to take it how far do you want to go and that's the beauty of it it's a beautiful 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 design um so these systems that we have been taught for years and years and years they they're they're fear-based they're scaring people into acting right into acting good by fear by scaring them well i mean that's one way to do it but i would rather tell someone what they're capable of instead of telling them by fear scaring them by fear you know instead of making these people frightened or threatened or fearful of what's going to happen after death because of the choices that they have made. How about we tell these people while they are still living how to improve their life, how to get better, how to get to the best version of themselves while they're still living. That just makes so much more sense to me. Like the only time is now. And so from now on, it's up to us to be a better person or to stay where we're at, to go backwards, or to be a fearful person. You know, we're not supposed to live in fear. We're supposed to live in love, but it's our choice. That's the beauty of it too. It's your choice. It's always been your choice. And so it's, again, it's up to you. It's up to you how far you wanna take it. It's up to you if you wanna live in fear or if you wanna live in love. But my, my thinking, my way is Let's all let's let everybody come to the truth so they can come to their true selves. Because if you knew that this process happened within your body and that you were capable of so much more than you could ever imagine, would that not push you more to do good, to do right, to improve your living, to improve your your lifestyle, your health than fear? Like yeah, we put fear in our kids and our kids are scared of us because they don't want to get a spanking or they don't want to get in trouble. But you know dang well when that when the mama that it turns around, that kid is going to go try to get away with what we just told them not to do. So fear may work for a little while. It may work for an instant. But instilling better principles and better truth in people, that will last for a lifetime. And so that's what I want to encourage y'all to do, to do your research, to go within, to be the best version of yourself, to become who you're meant to be, and to explore and to learn just what we're capable of. You know, and it's no secret, like, people know, you know, like, 
like the medical industry. Have y'all ever like truly looked at the symbol of the medical, the medical symbol? It's like, it kind of looks like a staff with um, coils and then the snakes, the snakes are going around it, right? There's two snakes. Well, snakes represent knowledge and that staff is our spine. It's, it's, it's representing our core, our body. And so the people behind the medical industry and all those people, they, they know what's up. They know what's up. Us little people down here, we're just coming to this knowledge because it's time to come to the knowledge because so many of us have lived in fear and, you know, um, you know, scared and just doing what we're told for so many years that the universe, the divine is like, it's enough. You know, we've already made this planet go to the bad, you know, to the, we've, we've polluted it so much. We've overindulged in our resources. So all this process that we're going through now and this awakening and the shift and everything that we're going through now is to make a better earth after all this is over with. If we do not change, then nothing else is going to change. We have to change the way we think in order to change the way we live. And so that's what I want to encourage y'all to do. Let's change for the better, change to better everything in our lives, to better the earth, to make a healthier earth to make a healthier us because in reality it's all us everything in the universe is connected that's why it's called a universe una meaning one universe everything is connected so it's up to you it's up to you what you create in your universe And I'm going to share a couple links below um, on a couple of videos where I got a lot of my information. But I don't just stick to just one person or one article. Like, that's, that's the beauty of it, too. You got to go to find 20, 30, you know, however many until you feel comfortable and until you feel right with that truth. Um but I, I pick out the diamonds, you know, I don't believe in everything that these people are saying in these links that I'll share, but there's a lot of good stuff in there. And, you know, you, we just have to open our minds and open our hearts, be able to receive this so that we can receive what is to come. All the great, beautiful, amazing things to come. Um, let me see. I got something else right here. Okay, so back to the, the process that goes in our body. Um, the Krisnos. So, um, once, once that fluid gets to the Krisnos, it gets you to a state of consciousness. The universal consciousness. The Christ consciousness. Look it up. It's a real thing. I, I'm not making it up. I can't make this stuff up. It's for real. Okay, um, let's see. So I just want to, I just want to really leave y'all with that. Okay, so, um, we already explained what Christ is. So anti, anti-Christ. Okay, so anti would be anything in opposite of, um, going against anti. So the anti would be anybody, anything going against the process within the body. That's why there are many antichrists already in the world. Because anything that is going against the natural process of the natural um, source, life source energy that was designed in your body, to me, that would be the Antichrist. Anything going against that. Anything going against the chosen process in your body. Um, I 
Sorry, guys, we got a lot of notes. Okay, so it's just like, you know, we've also been taught that it doesn't really matter what we do because somebody else can do it for us or somebody else already has done it for us. I believe that that is mis that has been misinformed. You know, we are all dealt a different hand of the deck. Whether we're born into a great pleasant family, which rarely happens. No, I got a great family. Um, but you know, whether we're born with a mom and a dad, just a dad, grandparents, um, two moms, two dad, whatever, you know, like we're all dealt different hands of the deck. And so we have to, we have to deal with the, with the hands we are dealt. Those are the hands that we have been dealt. And so that's what we have to deal with in our life. And so I believe that if we've been taught or if we believe and, and check how, I don't know where my marker is at. Oh. Check how belief, believe is spelled. Believe, okay? Check out what's right in the middle, guys. So we have to believe, right? Be believe, lie, rely, believe that somebody else can do it for us that somebody else has done it for us that is a hand that's been mess dealt <laughs> so because it's just like nobody can drink for you eat for you think for you i mean people can try but it never really works out um it's just like i know especially when i was pregnant and i had to pee every five minutes I kind of still do because I've already had three children. And so, you know, women, you know, it's all messed up. Okay. And so I used to tell my kids like, oh, I have to pee again. Can you go pee for me? Like joking. And they're like, really, mama, I can't do that. Of course you can't do that. It's kind of like one of those things. It's something you have to do for yourself. It's something that nobody else can do for you. You have to choose to be a better person. You have to make the changes to improve your life, whether it be exercise, diet, spirituality, um, better relationships, whatever it is. You have to make that choice. Nobody else can do it for you. And this is the same thing. We have to make the choice to answer the call, to be the chosen one, so that this process can happen in our bodies the way it was meant to and so it can benefit us the way that it was meant to all those years ago like you ever wonder like how did the Egyptians and all those people build those things that they built I don't know maybe they tapped into powers that we might have too I mean who knows We'll never know if we don't seek. You seek to find. And when you seek, you will find. Okay. So, got off subject a little right there. But, you know, it was, it was a good one. It was a good one. So, let's find the Christ within ourselves. Okay? So, we can be the change that we want to see. Um... And again, guys, please go and do your research. Don't just take my word for it. Don't just take these people that I'm going to link word for it. Go do your own research and mostly um, go within. And, you know, your intuition, your intuition is your best guide. It, it never lies to you. Your mind and your heart, they, they can play tricks. But your intuition, that gut, it's it's pretty much always spot on so go with that um i tell you the truth because i love you it's not it's not it's okay if you don't agree with me it's okay if you don't like me but again 
I tell you because I love you. Because the truth will set you free. Um, so, let's choose to change, guys. Choose to change. Change to improve. Improve to evolve. It's my job to show y'all. That's why my name is Lucy. And I love you all.